the friend blowing up completely completely out of, out of line because mm-hmm. as you said it's they were obviously told that she was bringing a special person to this event wherever it was and they were going to meet him so that's why they were all there you know so to rain on that parade based on something that's happened and is essentially done and dusted it's just that your emotions are raw was kind of out of order and i think you should have she should that should not be the way in which you way in which you react okay. um. good morning good evening good afternoon whatever it is wherever you are Hi, welcome back to another school, the, another school, another episode. This couple school podcast can't talk today. I'm joined as always, as, you, as usual, by the lady of self love herself, Charmaine Lawrence. Hello, guys. How you doing? Right. What this one's on? all about cheating. Cheating, cheating, cheating. Them naughty cheaters cheating. Anyway, scenario reads: I've been dating this guy for about six months now. Everything was running smoothly. He takes me out. We chat for hours on the phone. I came out with him and, and his boys for his birthday. He met my mum. I've met his. He hasn't put a foot wrong, and I'm so happy with him. Sounds so idyllic, doesn't it? <laughs> Last week, I brought him to meet my friends, and it all <laughs> kicked off. Uh-oh. Turns out he used to date a very good friend of mine and he broke her heart when she found out he had cheated on her multiple times. My friend is furious and now thinks I should end it with the guy because of their history. I'm falling for this guy and I'm on cloud nine right now, but that's my girl. What should I do? Oh, hey, hey. This, this is the reason why you didn't show me this scenario mm-hmm. first. Yep. <laughs> um, I do not believe shoot me now guys i do not believe once cheat always cheat Nope. i do not believe that for nope. a second um no i don't believe that um i get i get the i get the i get the feelings i understand the feelings of the friend i understand that that's a, that, that seeing him would be a trigger like oh my gosh like he is actually the worst the worst <laughs> kind of man that you could ever be with um, but also, we don't know how long ago he was dating her and cheated on her and blah, 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 and whatever, whatever. They can't be close friends, Andrew. What? Because as soon as I start dating someone that's, like, serious, like, I would be sending the pictures to the girls. Look at who, look at my man, da, 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 blah, blah, blah. Uh, maybe. Um. But she didn't know. Okay, cool. But, um... No, I just don't believe maybe, once a cheater, always a cheater. I don't believe that. Maybe it was a fling that's now turned, it's now starting to turn serious. So six, for six months, have just been thrown around the sheets. And maybe she, maybe she's had situations before where mm. she's introduced her, her, the, the guy to her friends too quick and then it's all falling apart and she just didn't want to go through that. Um, she can't make a decision know. about her whole, her whole relationship status based on her friend's emotions. That just it can't happen, and <clears throat> and I what's going to happen now is that those things that her friends told her about his behaviour are going to plague her. Um, but I personally, I don't know. Do you know what I know? What I want to say. Just say it. What I want to say is, don't listen to your friend. Do what you need to do in your relationship. Everything seems to be going okay. There you go. But. There's a pit in my stomach, which is a trigger. <laughs> which is a trigger that's telling me like, oh, I, that would cause so much angst within me. I'm not going to lie. I'm being deadly serious. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would not end my relationship, but it would create so much angst within me. The conversations that I would be having with him about, okay, so where, how this happened... <laughs> The growth, I want to know what the growth is. Why was you doing that at that time? Where was you in your life? What was you feeling? What are you feeling now? Where are you at? What's your goals? Like, I literally feel like I would be doing a whole, I would be doing that. That we'd have a serious conversation, a good three hour conversation with some alcohol. Wow, wow. Three hours? That's a lot. No, it's not. Three hours goes really quickly. About this subject, yeah, it's a lot. Do you think? Yeah. I'm just, I'm just being honest. The angst within me, I would, the anxiety would be killing me about all the stuff she would have told me that he had done. Multiple people as well. And like, mm-hmm. at what point in his life was he doing this? Um, where is he now? 
did she know his parents did she know all his friends at the time like it's like what is the situation like that's what i would want to know but having said all that i don't think i would end the relationship i wouldn't end the relationship i would speak to my friend and i'd just say look i understand what you're feeling and i understand it's a trigger for you at this point this is where i'm at with him and i'm gonna see it through thank you for giving me that info if I see anything that makes me feel uncomfortable, me, I will deal with it in my relationship. I don't know how the friendship's gonna go after that though. Because she's not gonna wanna be around, she's not gonna wanna be around and stuff, is she? If, if that's such a big deal. No. I don't know. <laughs> uh, go on. I think I agree. I don't think that you should end your relationship off the back of your friend, but I do think that you should tell your friend that you don't want to hear it. I don't think I don't I think digging through anybody else's trauma is going to help you see clearly into the future. I think, in fact, it's going to cloud it and put so much concern and worry into your head and your heart that you're going to end up self-sabotaging your relationship anyway, all off of the back of what's gone for on your friend, mm -hmm. because it's going to be heightened. If this is a really good friend of yours and really close friend of yours, everything that she says is going to be heightened and heightened emotions for you because of the connection that she has to you. So I think the only way that you've got you can see through this is by putting her aside and saying to her, look, I get whatever went on with you two and whatever went on is that, but this isn't then, this is now, and I don't want to hear it. And I get that you two, he might be a trigger for you and all of the rest of it, and I get that you're not going to want to be around him, so that's for me to manage, and I will, I will do that moving forward, so therefore to preserve our friendship because it means that much to me, you know, I will invest the time required in order to maintain and sustain that whilst keeping the two of you apart until such a time where you feel that you are able to be in that in a situation where he is. And I fully accept that you might never get there. Yeah. For the guy, <clears throat> I would just say to him, look, I don't want to know what went on between you and, and her. Um, yeah, I don't want to know what went on between you and her. I want us to just focus on us and to continue building this we've been building. But I would say to any woman that's out there with regards to, you know, you get into a situation similar like this where a guy is cheating with somebody that you know or you know that the guy's been a cheater, a cheater before um, and then you're in a relationship with him now. Cheated, like, it's not a case of once a cheater, always a cheater. Men have the capability of changing because we learn. I would say to any woman out there that there's no guy that's gonna change, stop, that's gonna change his spots because of you I'd, I'd put that in there because I think it's an independent decision. Every guy that I know, and even I could, even myself, when you, and when I think back over the time, there was a distinct period and point and the decision that was made, and it was made independent of being with someone. It was more for myself. I was tired of bed hopping and going around from one place to the next to the next. I wanted to. I wanted to build and I wanted to do something and that was a decision that came all by myself. So for anyone that's getting into a relationship with a guy that's a known player and you're thinking you're going to be the wind of change in his world, then I think you're deluding yourself. The man needs to make that decision all by himself. You know? But it's not a case of once a cheater, always a cheater. And I definitely don't think that you should throw away something that it seems like it's going in the right direction and it's giving you all of the right signals and feelings just because of something that happened in his past. <laughs> so there. Yeah. No, I, I mean, yeah, I agree. Don't get me wrong. I get. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm, and don't get me wrong. I'm not belittling the anxiety. I get that. Yeah. Because when you hear something that's like that, like I can only imagine the, the scenario. Yeah. You've walked in the room and everybody's laughing and joking and me explaining. Just go da, quiet. Da, da, da. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think it went quiet. I think it went <laughs> quite the opposite. She walked in with him and she's like, she 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 was expecting that. Da da kind of moment. This is the guy, and everyone to me, yeah, shaking hands and nudging and hugs and this and yeah. that. Let's have drinks. And instead, you got someone dashing a picture of ice across the thingy, and it all kicks off. And I, I get it. And I, and when we're especially when we're dealing with unresolved hurt, like your friend must be experiencing, that just opened a massive, massive wound mm. for her, and all of the pain that she had experienced before and after that, because of it, came spilling over the top, and. You've, the thing I would say to you is that you've got to give her that because she probably hasn't seen him since the last time he broke her heart and smashed it to pieces. So you don't hold that against her, the fact that she kicked off and what have you. She, she didn't know he was coming and all of that comes, you give her that one. But what I would say to you is I said, you need to speak to her afterwards and just go to her, look, this, this, is, 
this is where I'm at. This is where I'm at, and this is this is going well for me, you know. And I don't believe that at the moment, currently, he's not showing any signs or symbols that he's going to do anything. What happened with you? But I don't want to know. Just like Mary Wines, I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to know. Um. Do I, do I not want to know? No, you would. <laughs> no, you I want to know. I'm going to be honest. I would want to know. I the would. natural reaction for her is she's going to want to know. I want to know. All the ins and outs. My, my I don't own. want to know all the ins and outs. Well, I would want to know. Just three-hour conversation with, with, <laughs> with alcohol. I think you do. Like, but what I'm saying is I, I don't think at that point in time, especially right now, it will be healthy for you to go digging through all of that. Because I think it's going to put more worry in your head and your heart than it's going to... You think that, that, that knowledge makes things clearer. And that's the problem. It does. It gives you a clear line of sight into what your friend was experiencing and feeling and will build the fear up in you that you don't want to experience the same feeling, feeling as well. And consider that a, tra a traffic signal for you to turn left and hit the floor and exit as quick as possible. I'm saying, if you want... For, my advice will be, she's going to tell you different, but my advice will be, leave it alone. Mm, my advice wouldn't be leave it alone. I wouldn't want the details, like, you know, it was this and that. And I would want to know, like, from him specifically, just where, like, what the growth has been since that time. Like, I don't know. If, if it was, like, a three-year-ago situation, I don't think it would bother me. It would bother me more that, oh, God, Excellent. she's experienced the same <clears throat> penis I've experienced. That's the thing that would bother me the most. <laughs> Do you get what I mean? Like, when I'm talking, I can't even talk to you about throwing it down because you know how he's throwing it down. So I can't even have those kind of conversations. But mm. that's what would bother me. But I think if it, we're talking like, okay, so me and him has been together six months, but six months before me, he was seeing her and multiple people. I'd want to know, like, you know, how do you know I'm that person? Like, how do you know I'm the right person for you? Like, uh, like I don't want to be in a situation where you are not ready which a lot of people are doing getting into relationships because they're having fun and it's great but they're not really ready for the life partner situation it's like you're the right now person mm -hmm. and I don't want to be in a situation with someone where I'm the right now situation person because the right now situated person doesn't necessarily become the life person if that makes sense no, absolutely so for me if I'm miss right now I need to know that I'm miss right now because I will treat it as a miss right now. Because miss right now means that you're just not sure. There's no longevity. There's no plan for longevity. So I need to know that there's a plan for longevity. And I, and I would need him to be open and honest about we're just, we've had a great six months and I'm seeing how it goes. And at the moment it's going okay. That means you're miss right now. That's what that means. That's what that means. It yeah. does. <laughs> if, you, if he turns around and says, you know, you know, I want us to be here. I want us to be doing this. This is my plan for us, blah, blah, blah. You are Miss Life, life partner. And there's a, there's a difference between the two. So I think I would want to then, usually, if you haven't had that conversation already. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, about, you should have had that conversation is, you, you already. You should have had that conversation before this. And I was about to say, this shouldn't be... A triggering point for that conversation yeah right. and it unfortunately would be though wouldn't it if they haven't had the conversation well i before. think it would, i think it would be i think if if you haven't had that conversation i think you're right if you haven't had the conversation up until now and then this situation has happened that's where i would tell you or advise you to focus your energy on it's establishing your relationship yeah. and establishing your posi both people's positions in said relationship you know i wouldn't advise go digging into the past but i would advise that you go and establish your future you know, and as much as for yourself as well, if you have decided that he is Mr. For Now, you know, then you've got to get your feelings in your head in check in light of what's happened um, and then decide how you deal with your friend and this situation. Yeah, if and the, also, just because you are Miss Right Now doesn't necessarily mean you won't, it won't turn into Miss Life Partner. But absolutely. because of this situation... It's you kind of need to be clear about where his growth is because if six months before he was outside doing a madness yeah but that's, not, that's he could have been out, outside six months before doing a madness and that was the last six months and he just decided you know what the thing is actually you know what looking at it, this point of trauma with her friend could have been the bit that made him it's go true. you know what 
I can't do this anymore. I've got too many broken hearts it's on my true, ledger and I true. need I need to fix up and sort yourself out. And then six months later, he met you. You know? So it could be that. It could be that. Like, it definitely could be you know, that. It could be that. And then therefore then when you have this conversation with him, if you haven't had the conversation already, to say, right, well, where are we going and, and what is this? For him to turn around and go, you know what, like, yeah, I was a, I, I was, wish she gave I was us an idiot. More, I wish she gave us more details because I know there was a conversation that happened. So I wish she had given us more detail no, of what um, the conversation like, was. Because like, like, the, the, com- the, 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 <laughs> the conversation happened. So I, I'm so curious. We might be saying things that have already, the conversations already Absolutely. happened. Absolutely. But she just wants our take on it. But my take on it would be that I would continue with my relationship. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I would hope that we have an open, honest conversation about my feelings and how I felt and how he feels. Because... I can't imagine how he must have felt in that situation as well. Like, <laughs> that's just mad. Forget about my my feelings. What the you walk into a situation with your new guy that you're happy with, and the girl that you just messed with is just there. Like, I'm it's, it can't be. Been the can't, that similar. can't be nice. It can't be nice. I haven't been in a situation where you know someone that I've messed someone that's some. I say a relationship is gone sour. I can't say I've been in this, but I have been in situations where I walked in with a new partner into a place and then we've got connected friends to an ex and me and the ex don't really get on and the feeling that goes through your through your stomach when you see this person and then trying to maintain your emotions about the situation because it replays in your head the minute you see it yeah you know, which is why i say to people you know relationships never end because that that you if you get a feeling on site for someone that relationship isn't ended mm. it might have changed but it's not ended you know so i've been in that situation there and that wasn't pleasant because then your way of transpired because my face is an open book certain times because I looked this looked I had a look of disgust on my face at the time the new person was asking what that's all about <laughs> so that because the two of us were sort of steaming the angry eyes staring at each other across the room for a bit people clocked and we had to come conversations later on and next one said so I've been there and the the, the those situations take managing. They take managing because yeah. you have to remember that everyone's got em- everyone's entitled to the emotions that they have about the situation. Doesn't mean that either person's right, but they are entitled to how they feel about it. Um, and you, as in whatever configurative partner you are in that, you've got to give them that space and also manage your own, and then try and manage the situation to the best end. Yeah. Um, the fr- the friend, I can only imagine what went through her heart and her head at that point of seeing this guy walk into the room, which sounds like he was. <laughs> he I was hope her she handled Freddy it Kruger. with grace. I'm hoping she handled it with uh, grace. I'm, I'm, when people use the words "it kicked off," that doesn't really symbol <laughs> symbolise grace to me. As I said, that puts me in the frame of EastEnders, people throwing pints across the room, and you know you need bouncers. So that's what I'm guessing. Then I also feel like I would be very disappointed if my friend reacted like that. I would expect that you say. Shart, let's go outside. I need to have a conversation with you. But to kick off in a room full of people, yeah, yeah. I just think that to me would be <clears throat> you're you're putting your feelings, your past situation, in 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 front of my current situation, my current feelings. And so I would expect that as a friend, you handle it with grace. Like that's that's how I feel. Well, I, I kicked off. I'm with you on, on that to a certain extent, but I'm also of a mind of going, as I said, I think everybody is entitled to their emotions or how they feel about something. And whatever this guy is, or whatever the history this guy and this girl have, if it's as explosive as that, as her friend, I would have, I think that you should just give her that one. So if she blew up and it all went out of control and this, that and the other, like, I'd give her that one because it's 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 the first time she's seen this dude. You, you can know? give it to and her, but you would I would but check I, her. You need to check it. So I'm saying you like you check. give it to her and you don't hold the blow up against her, but you do pull her aside afterwards and go, okay, cool. That was then and enough's enough. You know, so we've now got to work out how we do this thing moving forward because he's going nowhere. You know, so you've got to have yeah. that kind of said. That's why I was saying I'd give her the blow up because you know, it's like when a girl slaps your face because of something you like, you give her that one because it's your rea- it's your immediate reaction. Mm. Don't slap it twice. I mean, but the first one, you get it. So, yeah. But, yeah, I've just, I've got this whole mad movie flying around in my head of <laughs> big pub brawl. The whole visual thing. Thing. You know, yeah. Yeah, no, I, 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 I definitely believe that the, li- <clears throat> the likelihood is that 
not the likelihood is it is definitely a po possible for for people that have cheated in the past to no longer cheat it's a decision at the end of the day that yeah. they make that you know for whatever reason so yeah i'm not i'm not with it i wouldn't be ending my relationship for that i mean i would not because he's been a cheater in the past i think it would be more uncomfortable that he's been with my friend we've done that podcast already <laughs> We've done that podcast, yeah, guys. Yeah. <laughs> that would be the most that would be the most uncomfortable thing for me, especially if she's a close friend. That would be really uncomfortable. That would I would struggle to get my head around that more than him being a player. I'm trying to think if this was on the flip side of it and it was the opposite way around. Um, yeah, if it was the opposite way around, how would that work? Yeah. So that's girl broke guy's heart. Yeah get really messy imagine Karen has literally been one of your friends and was like sleeping around on him and then you bring her to yeah, the game and see, your I friend think, goes I think, mad I, I think I would probably if I if it was okay if I put myself in the sense of I'm the new I'm the guy that's bringing it, her in and then she's had relationships with one of my friends I think my stance would still be the same in that respect in the sense of putting the friend aside and going look I, I, I get that you guys have got history and what have you has gone on blah 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 no but he kicks but, off yeah but in the, well <laughs> if he kicks if he kicks off and this that and the other that 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 he would just need restraining you know he just <laughs> he'd, he'd, he'd find himself face down on the floor probably um, and then told to calm down or I do mm. depending on what friend it is and what size of friend it is but if it was like a a smaller friend of mine, I'd do the same thing that that bouncer did on, on TikTok <laughs> just picked him up and carry him outside um <laughs> But I think then we'd have a conversation and then we'd just say to him, look, like you've got to man up and get over it because this, you know, where I am. this is this is where I'm at and, I'm and this is what I'm doing. If I was the guy that was that was the heartbroken one, um, I'd like to think that I wouldn't kick off, but I would pull my friend aside and I'd explain the situation, explain the history and go to him, look, and I'd probably bow out at that point. So oh, I'd, probably bow look, out, yeah. I'd probably look at him and just go to him, look, da -da -da, this is what's happened and this is why I'm going and this is why me and her can never be in the same room ever again. Yeah. Um, so I don't feel, think I'd even say it at that time. I'd just say that I've got to go. Something's come up and I really have no, to go. No, no, I'd, I'd be... I'd, I'd, I wouldn't be able to do I'd that. say it right there and then. I'd put him aside. I, I wouldn't... I. I can, I can see what I do. I'd completely ignore her. I'd pull him aside, explain, look, this is what happened between me mm -hmm. and her. This is why I can't be in the same room as her because I find her disgusting. I can't stand her. But it's your back. I'm not getting involved in your relationship or in the way of your relationship, but I'm out. Um, and then, by the way, I'm out when it comes to her forever. So don't ever invite <laughs> me to anything that she's about. Um, but that doesn't touch our friendship. That's what I'd say, and then I'd leave. Um, so... yeah. Yeah, so that's that's how I think I think it'll play. Um, if I take a look at this on in a different put a different pair of goggles and on what's the right and wrong behaviour, the friend blowing up completely completely out of, out of line because mm -hmm. as you said, it's they were obviously told that she was bringing a special person to this event wherever it was, and they were going to meet him. So that's why they were all there, you know. So to rain on that parade based on something that's happened and is essentially done and dusted it's just that your emotions are raw was kind of out of order and I think you should have she should that should not be the way in which you way, way in which you react okay. um, and definitely 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 I think you're bang out of order for, for, for requesting that she end a relationship yeah um, based on your relationship that died and is no <laughs> longer here anymore and something that you don't know is definitely going to be a repeated set of behavior or pattern of behavior for him you know as I said when traumatic situations happen those usually are the trigger points for us to change our behavior now this situation here whilst it was if it's that cataclysmically painful for you it must have had an, imp an, an impact or a reflection in on him and the chances are that even just watching that situation go off might have been the reason as to why he's changed his ways or what have you or maybe he took some reflection reflection time mm -hmm. afterwards and just look like 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 what happened to me and a lot of guys that i know you look you get to a point where you're just like I'm tired i don't want to do this anymore yeah. and it's expensive going on first dates so it's i want to get to isn't it not me. repetitive as well like it's just repetitive like it, it is but i suppose that if i put myself back in in the points and periods of time that i've been in where it's been you know single and out there like your objective was somewhere to sleep for the night it wasn't somewhere to call, to hold for a lifetime you know but your perspective changes and that's what happened to me and that, that may be what's mm. happening with this guy here is he's got to a point in place in his life where he's just gone 
I'm out. Yeah. You know, I'm out and I want to try and see what, you know, you get to a point where you know, all your friends start settling down. Now you've got no wingmen anymore. Or like, so it's you going at the club by yeah. yourself. And have you been to a club recently? I went there. Yeah. Karen and I went, went out. To, to a place where oh, a party I was yeah. so old like, I looked around the room and I'm like these people are like 18 I'm, I could be your dad legitimately like, I didn't feel right so no 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 so you know you get to the I'm audience. out all the time you've got to go to things like you know 90s events you can't just go to today's Listen, you know what it is? pubs you have to go when, to pubs of 90s when I, when I was younger and I had to go out to go and find your end of the species because that's the only way in which you could do it I didn't like it then I don't like it I'm a wine bar Nice glass of whiskey, yeah, 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 ambient good. music where I can talk Chill, kind of guy. Talk. Chilled, like I don't. You're a like, cigar lounge guy. Yeah, it's, it's like <laughs> even like we're because obviously Karen and I are getting married at the end of the month, and my boys are like, "Oh, what do you want to do for your stag do?" I'm like, "I don't want to rave. I don't want to. I don't want to go paintballing. I want something calm." grown and just we can just chill oh go to like, a nice cigar lounge that's what i'm saying yeah that's my that's my space that's my group so yeah like, that'll be nice the older i get the more stuff i get so it's just like that's what i want to do so for me the whole raving scene no no, no. it's I'm not that it. i'm a party girl i can't lie. yeah, yeah you're, that's 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 karen <laughs> that's, that's when karen one of the first times that we went out and i was meeting karen's friends like she she Karen is a social butterfly so she had no forget it she, we were we were in the room we're getting ready this and she had a list of places that she wanted to go to and I said to her, my car is not a TARDIS it doesn't go back in time there's logistics here like to play with you're driving through central London there's traffic I'm not going to be able to get from here 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 <laughs> five stops in one night I'm just not it's just not possible you know but that's Karen so she, I do have to so like that's how I ended up in flipping nightclub type of place because that's <laughs> For her, that's where she is. And, and this is what I mean when you talk about compromises yeah. within relationships. Like, so I will compromise in the sense of going to a place that we find a place that at least has the type, because she'll go to house places if you leave her to it. But she will at least, the compromise for us when we're going out to a place that's like that is that it must have R&B music and must have the alcohol that I, kind of, that I like to drink so I can actually just deal with it. You know? And then <laughs> so it's a mutual point of, this this but this this joke disagreement whatever you want to put on it so yeah so no in response to the scenario I think we're agreed like don't yeah. don't ditch the guy um, leopards can change the spot so it's not once a cheater always a cheater no um, yeah and do what you can to preserve your friendship with your friend if she's really your friend through and through then at some point in time she'll see through this yeah um, particularly as he stands the test of time um, and moves forward she'll get you. over it um, she'll get over it and the two of you will you know. Mm move and spiral right so we're out of time that's us out for this week yay yay so thank you guys so much for watching as usual if you haven't subscribed please hit the button wherever it is we decided this down here so i'm going to stick with it down here somewhere don't forget the bell up there somewhere to notify you when, <laughs> and when the next clips come on we just point anywhere don't we <laughs> just do this it's, it's like around this here somewhere, somewhere. <laughs> so, a couple school after school every tuesday 8 30 please don't miss it and please do participate it's so much fun when you guys pick up the phone and dare to share it's a lot of fun. it's a lot we have it makes my evening i tell you so that's us out for this week you take care you stay strong stay focused bye guys see you later